We move now to other parts of Africa, where at the Democratic Republic of Congo, suspected Islamist militants killed at least 19 people and burned a medical facility in a raid on a village in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo early on Sunday morning, two regional officers have said. The attack, which occurred around 1 a.m. in the village of Kirindera in North Kivu province took place just a few kilometers from another attack on a village that killed at least 35 people last week. Burnt beds in a medical center are a sign of what happened in this eastern Congolese village in the early hours of Sunday morning. So too are the pools of blood. At least 19 people were killed in Kirindera. Two regional officials said in an attack they blamed on a militant group that has pledged allegiance to Islamic State. Bernadette Kavira says she was woken up by sounds of the raid that started at around 1 a.m. We said we were going to die here. By grace, this assailants left my family compound and went to kill other people on the way next to us. They looted the shops. They had the chance to leave the house and flee to the bush. Kirindera is in North Kivu province and only a short distance from another village that was attacked last week. The army blamed last week's attack on the Allied Democratic Forces, a Ugandan jihadist group that moved into Congo in the 1990s. Luanzo Kambale, who lives in Kirindera, also blamed Sunday's attack on the ADF. He says his two brothers are in hospital and his two sisters were taken into the bush. The ADF has been accused of causing thousands of deaths over the past decade. The killings have continued despite efforts by the military, which is also fighting the M23 rebel group. It's another example of violence in Congo's east that has contributed to plummeting public support for United Nations peacekeeping mission. Locals complain that MINUSCO, as it's called, is unable to stem the bloodshed. A delegation from the UN Security Council toured North Kivu at the weekend, including to a camp for displaced people. The M23's insurgency has displaced 600,000 in recent months. Congo blames Rwanda for supporting the group. The United Nations, the US and other international powers have made similar allegations. Rwanda denies this. During the UN tour, Congo's Minister for Humanitarian Affairs, Modeste Mutinga, said he hoped that a clear message being sent to Rwanda would allow for peace and for those who've been forced from their homes to be able to return. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.